Rosas, it's me, Tears of Sephora, and in today's video, I have three makeup looks for you all. So this is one of them, and I really love this one because it's more of like a snow queen type of thing, and I feel like, like I said, it's more of like an inspirational snow queen type of look. Anyways, enough of me chit-chatting, let's get on to the three Christmas makeup looks that I have for you all. I'm starting off by applying a baby blue shade onto the crease of my eyelid. Next, I am going in with the wet palette and I'm using the shades I'm Chillin' and Mood and it's these two shades right here. And I'm also using the brush called Morphe M506. I am applying the shades onto the corner of my eyelid as well as the crease. As you can see, it starts off from going into light shades to darker shades. I am also using a shader brush to blend out the shades. Next, I am taking the eyeshadow foundation base and this is by Playing in Makeup by Yolando and I'm also using a BH Cosmetics brush and it's like this small. So I'm just basically going to do a cut crease but I'm only going to do half a cut crease. <music> white eyeshadow base I'm gonna go in and use a take me back to Brazil palette by BH cosmetics and I'm gonna be using this white shade right here all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the blue blood palette and I'm gonna be using this white shade here it's actually a shimmer type of shade <laughs> So there's several things that is going to happen here. I'm going to go in with the shade called Ice Tray from the Blue Blood Palette. And it is this one right here. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M506 brush. And at the same time as I do that, I'm also going to go back into the Wet Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be mixing the shades I'm Chillin' and Mood. So both of these two shades. So basically, I'm just using three shades and I'm blending them out um, together. Just a quick disclaimer, I know people despise Jeffree Star and I understand why I'm not okay with the things that he has done, but I did purchase this palette when it came out and before all the drama happened, so I didn't want to throw it away because it's just a waste of money, so I'm making the use of it. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX glitter liner and this one is called Diamond Dust. Here is how it looks like. I am basically going to do a cut crease with the glitter liner. Next, I am just using my Revlon Skinny Liner and I'm going to do kind of like a cat's eye type of liner. But I'm not going to do it like so dramatic, just I guess in a way just so I can have some color. I don't know how else to explain it. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and go back in with this shade up here. I can't really pronounce it. I think it's called Cullinan. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go ahead and go into that shade and I'm going to apply it onto the tear duct of my eyes. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with the wet eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the same shades. I'm chilling and mood. So these two up here and I'm just going to be applying them onto the lower lash line. Alright, so here I'm just drawing a snowflake on my face using a white retro liner from Glam Vice Cosmetics. I forgot what this retro liner was called because I left it at the apartment, so I apologize. I actually wanted to draw more snowflakes, but one was enough because it literally took hours just for me to finally get a snowflake onto my face. It was very challenging. Next, I'm just taking my Maybelline Falsies Mascara. Alright, to finish off this look, I'm going to go ahead and use my Kat Von D lipstick and this one is in the shade Witches and yes, I'm going to be using a black lipstick, but you will see why. You can 
skip this step and use a blue lipstick, but since I do not have a blue lipstick, I'm using a black lipstick because I'm going to be applying a blue eyeshadow onto my lips that will create a blue type of look. And this is the final makeup look. I really loved it. It was very challenging and I also got Snow Queen vibes from it. I love the blue on my lips. It was just so different. I've never tried blue colored lipstick before in my life. Obviously, it's not lipstick though. I love the trick that I did. It's so helpful whenever you don't have colored lipstick. Just use eyeshadow shades and it works just as great. It actually looks like lipstick. Now on to the second Christmas makeup look. Alright, so I'm going to use the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm going to be using this green shade right here. I am applying the green shade all over my entire eyelid, but only on just this eyelid. Next, I'm going to go into the Rainforest palette by the Makeup Shop and I'm going to be using this red shade right here. go ahead and go into my Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. For this Christmas look, I am doing a winged look. Alright, so next I'm going to go back in with the Makeup Shack palette and I'm going to go ahead and use this shade of red right here again. But instead, I'm going to apply this shade onto the lower lash line, but it's going to be on this eye, so basically the opposite. y'all can see that and I'm just gonna apply it onto the tear duct of my eyes now I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the take me back to Brazil palette by BH cosmetics and I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the same green shade which is this one right here and applying it underneath my eyelid on this eye <music> from Dollar Lash Club. Now I am just finishing up this makeup look by applying my bronzer, my highlighter, and also my blush. Go ahead and use this Baylor liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Ponceria. I think that's how you say it. Um, like I said guys, sorry if you see me using any Jeffree Star cosmetic. I did purchase all of these products way before everything had happened and before I knew about a lot of things. So don't come and attack me guys. I did spend money on like these products so I'm not going to have them go to waste. And this is how it looks like all together and I thought it was really cute but I know this makeup look isn't for everyone because it is different it does have opposite colors on each eye so yeah it may be different but I thought it was cute anyways on to the third makeup look all right so this makeup look is really easy so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my makeup shack palette and this one is the rainforest palette and I'm going to go ahead and use this red shade right here and I'm basically just going to apply the red shade on my eyelid on both of them. Of course this one already has it so I'm going to apply it onto this eyelid as well as the bottom of the lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go back into the Makeup Shack palette 
and I'm gonna be using this shade right here. Um, I'm gonna be applying it onto the tear duct of my eyes. I am now applying my liquid liner and I'm just doing a winged look. Alright, so I'm gonna go in and apply my NYX glitter primer all over my eyelids. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this red glitter shade here, and this is from the Glitter Realm Majestic Palette. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Mariah Lashes for this makeup look. And here I'm just finishing off this makeup look. I am using the Sunset Striptease Bronzer by Wet n Wild. And I am also using, if I'm not mistaken, the Cat's Eye Blush from Colourpop Cosmetics. And it is from the Sailor Moon collection. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and retouch my lipstick. And I'm going to be using the Ponceria Veiler Liquid Lipstick. Alright, so this makeup look was absolutely beautiful. It was also very simple to do. But if you don't like glitter, this look is probably not for you. But I'm pretty sure you can do it without glitter. I just chose to use glitter because it gives it more of a festive look. And I feel like it makes it pop more, which I really love. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed these three Christmas makeup looks. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And also comment down below and let me know which one of these Christmas looks were your favorite and which one would you try out. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and press that bell notification to be notified on my next upcoming videos. See you all next time!